Let's do a quick review on similar right triangles. In particular, finding an altitude length in similar right triangles. We start with our right triangle, and I basically want to drop an altitude from the right angle. I'm going to turn it upside down so we can see that altitude dropping to that hypotenuse side. And altitudes make right angles, they're perpendicular. And we form three similar right triangles, a small one, a middle-sized one, and the larger outside triangle that we started with, turning it upside down so we can see it. And we can form proportions because they're similar. So you're going to have to match up the corresponding sides. So we have corresponding hypotenuses, we have corresponding longer legs, and we have corresponding shorter legs. So if I'm looking for that altitude, if you look at the small triangle, that's actually the longer leg of it. If you're looking at the middle triangle, it's actually the shorter leg. So you would have to compare the short leg and long leg and whatever other sides you have. It gets very complicated quickly and it's easy to make mistakes using proportion methods. So I'm actually gonna look at a different method for finding our altitude in this video. And that method involves using a geometric mean. And a geometric mean of two numbers is the square root of their product. So you multiply the two numbers and take their square root. So if I want to find the geometric mean of 2 and 8, you're going to multiply the 2 and 8, put them under the radical. So 2 times 8 is 16. So x will be the square root of 16, which is 4. So the geometric mean of 2 and 8 is 4. So let's look how this can help us finding the altitude in similar right triangles. So I'm going to label my sides here. The altitude I'm going to call length A, and then it splits the large hypotenuse into two segments of length B and of length C. And simply put, the altitude A is the geometric mean of B and C. So take the product of B and C and take the square root. And it's derived by using those proportions we spoke about before, but that's, that's all out of scope of this video. Let's just see how this applies. So let's look at a couple of examples. First example, I want to find the altitude x, knowing that the hypotenuse length 8 is split into 6 and 2. So take that, the geometric mean, multiply the 6 and 2, you get 12, and under that square root, we can reduce that. So that altitude's length is 2 radical 3 units. Let's look at another example. This time I know my altitude length at 6, and I want to find one of those segment lengths. So you set it up the same way. 6 is the geometric mean of 9 and x. Now x is kind of in the radical, so the easiest way to get it out of the radical is to square both sides. And it's very easy to square a radical because that radicand, the thing inside, once you square the radical, it just comes out. So the left side is 36, and we just have the 9x on the right. Divide by 9. Uh, 4 equals x. I don't like the way that looks. Let's turn that around using symmetric property of equality. So x is 4. So that little segment length is 4. So these are just two simple examples, but hopefully that is enough to get you going on solving some of these questions. So to find the length of an altitude in similar right triangles, length A of the altitude is the geometric mean of segment lengths B and C, or multiply B and C and take their square root. So thank you for watching, and I hope that you find this helpful.